edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Livestream featuring us. My name is Vivian. I'm at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. I'm Richard. Everywhere you look for me. <laughs> um, and I'm Shannon at Chacao on the Make Code forums. And, and Daryl's not here. He is secret. Daryl's so. in the booth today. <laughs> Daryl yeah. is the magic that makes this all happen. Uh, so he's with us all. Um, so <laughs> I came up with a plan for our game today. Here is my plan. Have you guys seen the game Supermarket Sweep? If you haven't... Of course I is... have. <laughs> Wait, Richard, do you want to explain it? Sure. So um, this was a, this is one of those game shows that was impossible to avoid if you were a kid in the 90s and were stuck home from school while sick. Um, but basically, you answer a series of trivia questions, and then you um, everyone gets a shopping cart and they need to run out into this actual grocery store and get the most expensive items and then return. And whoever has the most expensive cart at the end wins. Um, it is a great game. You get to see all sorts of stuff. So, and like, you're never usually allowed to run through a supermarket. So it's like living your dreams. So I thought we should make that in arcade format today, but kind of differently. So my plan was you have like a start line and the checkout line, and you have to make it from one end to the other in the time given, and you want to get the highest amount of points or like dollar amount, but as you get more items, your cart gets heavier and it's going to get harder to move. So don't be too greedy, otherwise you'll never make it. So I'm going to work on implementing that, and then Richard and Shannon are going to come up with fake groceries for us to put in the cart. So let's get, let's get going. <laughs> Bye, Richard and Shannon. Okay, so I'm going to make this, wait, this should be eight, with a tile map, and I'm gonna make it long. So then what we're gonna have at the beginning is we're gonna have some shelves. Oh no, I have a line. Fine. These are gonna be my empty shelves. Also, I think my supermarket should be blue because supermarkets feel clean mm -hmm. and beautiful. Okay, here's a shelf. I'm going to put a bunch of shelves lining the gauntlet. And then is that I'm what they make... call it in the in the program? I don't think so, but I think it's what it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently in the first version of the game, they had somebody running through the aisles trying to prevent you from getting where you need to go. <laughs> and then they got rid of that because it was too annoying. <laughs> That sounds incredible, though. <laughs> should be a full contact sport. Yeah, and then they were like different characters or like mascots for different booths. I'm like, what companies would want you to be annoying with their <laughs> people? Oh no, I copied too many. Okay, delete. Yes. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Do you go, want go. these images to be 16 by 16 or smaller? I think maximum 16 by 16, but can be smaller. Okay. I think um, yeah, mine's 16 by 17. <laughs> no, I'm giving you so much leeway. <laughs> resizing it. Okay, cool. Okay, go here. Okay. Um, it, I don't think it'll look great because the products I'm gonna are just gonna be on the shelves. Um, but but that that's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna make some here. And then I don't know how I want to make the shelves on the bottom look. Maybe I'll just do the same. Oh, oh perspective. Man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't, hmm. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, I understand. This should just. I I'm going to try putting this here and see what that looks like. By the way, Shannon, what are you making? A box. <laughs> I'm trying to do oatmeal. It's not turning out super. Ooh, Ooh that's your favorite. It's not my favorite. <laughs> What's oatmeal your favorite food? Favorite burritos. Food is, um, burritos, right? Chicken burritos? Yeah. <laughs> All right. They're really good. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, this should be the other direction. I see. I see. <laughs> I was confused. OK. like that uh that's that's okay this isn't reality you're not allowed to run through supermarkets in real life 
<laughs> look realistic. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Phil. Cool, cool. Oh no, where'd you go? Oh, push down. Done. Yes, I'll see you. So, um, not being able to run around, you know, in real life, is that learned by personal experience or just a guess? I used to have heelys and they would not let me heel around through Walmart and stuff. I'm assuming this applies through running to running too. But I have That's a shame. If if, if my constitutional amendment, the the heel anywhere amendment <laughs> were to get through, we would finally be able to do. Um, yeah. That, but Congress just isn't ready. <laughs> We should start a letter writing campaign. Um, so now I'm trying to make up the checkout counters where you're trying to get to. So at the end, uh, you get here. And then one of, my, one of my favorite parts of Supermarket Sweep is at the end, they always have to say like the sign off, which is like, next time you're at the checkout and you hear that beep, and it goes beep. They go, think of all the fun you could be having at Supermarket Sweep. <laughs> and they make the winner say that too. And I'm like, what if they didn't say that? <laughs> okay, this is a good enough. Um, wait, I'm going to make a starting tile too. I'll make that classic checkerboard. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I'm going to. Let's marquee. Select. Oh, wow. Amazing. Fill these in. And I'm going to not fill in back. Okay. I'm okay with how that looks. Then I'm going to set the background color. No, not image. Background color. Background color to blue. Hopefully that's not too intense. Nice, nice. Okay, now we're going to make a sprite and it's going to be be my dream of me pushing a super <laughs> uh, shopping cart in supermarkets. <laughs> so it's, this is me. Such a such an unattainable. Um, but push a shopping cart really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want, I wish I could add eyebrows to indicate that I'm angry. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> okay, color my wearing yellow, yellow today. I need to be leaning forward so you know I'm going fast. I'm going to take this. <laughs> my shorts are green. I'm going to add green shorts. And then a shopping cart. What's our most shopping cart color? Maybe purple. I'm gonna move everything up too. Okay. Mm, I think it will be okay if I extend my spray. All right, my my oatmeal is not turning out amazing, but I it is a small enough word that I was able to write oat on the sprite, <laughs> and I think that helps. <laughs> Mine are not labeled. Um, we're just hoping for the best. Okay, and then we go. Add some legs. Okay, so um, new variable called contestant, contestant, and I'm going to be moving my my sprite with controls. Okay, and I'm going to make it with a new variable called speed. I'm going to set the speed to pretty fast at the beginning because at the beginning, not only do you have nothing in your cart, but you also have all your energy. So you can <laughs> really fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. And speed at, what's a good speed? 50? No. 
Oh, too slow. 100. That's pretty good. OK, and then I'm going to have camera follow. Camera follow contestant. Richard, now I'm making a turkey. OK, I'm making a bottle of grape juice. Mm. Ooh. Okay, white grape. What? Oh, just because I felt, yeah, I know. You and I both do not like grape juice. We've actually spoken about this before, surprisingly. <laughs> um, but uh, I um, um, can draw grapes at a small scale. Uh, <laughs> I would like to see watermelon juice on the shelves, maybe costing more than the grape juice. Is that a thing that exists? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, is it? What? Oh, wait. Well, can somebody send me a sprite? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. I'm putting one in the chat now. Yay. Okay. I have, I just came up with a great idea. So, I hope you guys are ready for it. Okay, we're going to make a new sprite. Oh, is this, is this milk? Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. What the heck? Okay, um, I think it's okay if I don't resize it, right? Or do you think I should? Um, it should be fine. You're just using overlaps, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. cool. Yeah, and then I'm I'm going to place. Okay, this is my great idea. I'm going to use the scene. I'm going to place. What is called new variable. Um, new product. Product. New product on top of random. Oh wait, I need to get a location. Just kidding. It's a good idea, but but I need to do it differently. Um, wait, can I just get one? Well, so you want to, do you want to put something on every shelf? Or I feel like to avoid like placing um, two things on the same shelf, you might want to iterate over every shelf and then okay. in that loop, like pick something to put uh -huh. on the shelf. Yeah, I think that's why I'll have the array of all of them, but I also want to change the image to like a full shelf after I place it. Oh, but I would have to I say of all locations. Yeah, that's and I would true. just make okay. Mm -hmm. And I would just make everything um invisible. Okay, so I'm going to make a variable empty shells. Set empty shells. I'm going to put this first. To array of all empty shell locations, and then I'm going to place it on top of a, uh, does it need to be, I think it does need to be random, otherwise it'll be all at the beginning. Random. Mm, but if I place, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's random of zero to length of empty shelves, do some math, minus, minus one, one, and then I'm going to do this for every element. Oh no. Um, of every element of list, and we have a new list that's going to be um, a list of sprites. And then I'm going to make a new function, create product, an image, pick, um, image, and then cost, and then wait. And it's going to return a sprite. So we're going to make a new product new product, uh, and then we're going to return get new product. And then we're going to add our first extension of the day, mm -hmm. and we're going to add sprite data. I think my favorite extension, because it just adds so much so much to, to your, your sprites. So we're going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to tell the other extensions you said that. <laughs> I'm OK with that. They can be better. I would like them <laughs> to compete with my love. 
Um, so we're going to add the data cost to new product and assign it to cost. And we're going to assign the product's weight to be weight. And then we're going to return new product, and that's OK. So we're going to iterate for each value of, wait, no, it's not new product. It's, um, what did I call it? Oh, I have a name. I have a name to get. OK, new variable. K catalog because it's a catalog of all our things so mm -hmm. list of all catalog and then we're gonna call our function a bunch of times so we're gonna create oh no go over here okay create a product with the image of milk we're gonna set this image here Forgot to do that okay and then shannon how much how much does milk cost um four dollars <laughs> cool <laughs> milk is expensive these days that's true yeah. and then how much <laughs> weight should it change it by maybe two i was thinking about just subtracting or maybe one for now i was thinking about just subtracting that from the speed but maybe it should be fractional mm -hmm. i think milk will be it will weigh more than oatmeal so it should be at oh. least two and then a gallon of what milk weighs eight point yeah. six <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'll just we'll just put it as the accurate weights, and we can scale. <laughs> Wait. Does it actually cost? I don't think it does. Was that a lie? I think that was a lie. In my I mind, a gallon of milk is one pound. I don't drink milk anymore. Um, All right. In Olympia, Washington, in 2018, <laughs> according to the first result, mm -hmm. it was two pounds. Two pounds. Okay. Cool. Cool. I like that our game is steep with No, no, that. no, sorry. Two dollars. Eight pounds is the correct weight. It's actually eight pounds? For a gallon of milk, yeah. A pound is less than you think, though. I think so, because I thought, like, a gallon of milk was the equivalent of, like, a gram of water, where that's equal to, like, one calorie. I thought milk was the unit of measurement for one pound. <laughs> water has zero calories. No, 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 like if you need to like boil off a gram of water, isn't that equal to like the same energy as one calorie? It's been a while since I've taken chemistry. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I thought milk was the standard for one pound, <laughs> which is wrong. I'm learning. Um, OK, so back to this. I'm going to place my sprite on top of tile map. Wait, can I put this in here? Can I not? I want to. Oh yeah, I need to get a get a value from the array. So array get empty shelves get value. And instead of recalculating this, I could just remove that value. So I'm going to make a new variable called index. I'm going to type an index here. Index set index to be this one. So we're going to get index. And then from our array, get get and remove. Does that remove the value and also get it? Yes. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to just do that. That's exactly what I want. Put in here, delete, delete, delete. OK, so I'm placing on top of that. And then I want to change the image of it. So set. I think it's this one. Um, uh, oh, I don't want to remove it yet. I'll just remove it there, and I'll just get the value here. Duplicate. Cool, cool. And I'm going to set it to be a new one. So where's my tile map? I need to change it. My tiles copy and then I'm going to edit this. What did grocery shelves look like? It's been a while since I looked at the game, but um, your, your checkout registers are on point. Thank you. <laughs> um, maybe I'll make it like can't. OK, I'll just copy this. Mark the key. Copy. Oh, it's only 120. Doing great on time. 
and then I'll just I'm make cereal for the next one. Cereal. What color is my cereal box? It's yellow. Paint this white, and I'll make another one. What other colors are cereal? Purple. Oh no. Green. Our lucky charm is green. Oh, great, great idea. Green. Okay. Lucky, lucky charms aren't green. Are they not? <laughs> I've never had lucky charms. I, I, I've never bought it. Wait, aren't they red? That is a wild thing to say. Um, Isn't the yes, they're red. Tricks. Four leaf clovers are green. Oh, I am thinking of tricks. <laughs> Trix is also red, and I think also Fruit Loops is. I wonder if just all cereal is red, like some some market studies expert determined that at some point. Mm -hmm. mm. OK. Uh, also, I want to set it to invisible. Set, uh, OK, set new product invisible on. Oh, oh my goodness, it's stocked. Okay, so now, <laughs> wait, one thing I want to do is I want these walls to, these walls to be walls. Okay, and then do, do, does overlap work if it's invisible? Um, yep. Yeah, with the oh, sprite. Cool, cool. Okay, so I'm going to trigger this on a button press we're going to add um the thing to your cart and i'm going to make that into a new function i haven't thought this far add to cart um wait can i get what i'm overlapping with or no so there's a if you go in controller there's an is overlaps with uh -huh. um or Maybe not. Can I get in solar? Sorry, Sprite. Oh. Um, but the event for overlap should have it. Um. Mm, OK, my other question is if I want to do it on trigger it on the A, could I get the tile and the Sprite that's on top of that tile or no? You can get the tile that you're on top of, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then, okay, then I'll trigger with the overlaps instead of the eight button pressed. So then I can, okay, get the things I'm overlapping with. Oh, yeah, oh, right. I need to change my type. So, player, that is accurate for a game show, but this one needs to be something else. This needs to be grocery. So, on type, player overlaps type grocery if. A controller, a button pressed, then then add to cart. Grocery. Hmm. So I'm going to call this add to cart other sprite, which is the grocery. Now what are we gonna do? We're going to mm, what should happen? I think it'd be cool if all of the groceries just piled up and they followed your cart. <laughs> so I will make another another sprite, new variable, grocery and cart. The sprite, I'm going to get the image of this grocery item. I'm going to make it cart item. And then we're going to set order this one. Yeah. So why don't you just take the one that you overlapped with? Um, because I want to be able to get it multiple times because you're oh. allowed to have up to five of the same kind of crochet. I see. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I'm kind of worried about this if a button pressed will trigger. Uh, right. Yeah, but you can put a pause in there. Oh, OK, cool, cool. Yay. Cool. That was a problem I was going to solve later, but I'll solve it now. Um, pause here, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then have 
this new sprite follow. Where's follow? I'm just gonna look it up. Grocery in cart follow contestant. <laughs> okay, I think I'll just save that. <laughs> did, I, did I place it correctly? Place value on top of list. value at index. When I create the product, maybe put like a say in the overlaps code to see if it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. say we're pushing and touching. contestant and then here we'll just say like wow um mm, hmm? uh place sprite oh because maybe i'll put this last am i okay place Value. Value is something from the catalog. Catalog is an array of product sprites. So place uh, value on top of list, get value at index. Where is this list being stayed? It should be oh, empty shelves. Empty shelves. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> We're overlapping. Oh, nice. <laughs> Why did you come from over there, though? She changed uh, the Z index. The, uh, no, it's the position. When you create it, it just creates in the middle of the screen. Mm -hmm. But but why why is it when we place the value on top of empty shelves location? Oh, no, so you're creating a copy of the sprite. Oh, right. right. Oh, cool. Okay, so sprites, we're going to set the grocery in cart position to be our current position. Contestant. Contestant. And then what did you say about Z-index? Would you want to be taller, Richard? Probably the grocery person? <laughs> yeah, probably the grocery okay. person should be on top of everything else. I think I agree with that. <laughs> Z index, so I want to always be able to see me, and that's going to be 100. Let me make sure. Okay, let's try this. Oh, cool. Nice. And then I'm going to have it. Can I? Um, I'm, I'm not going to adjust the centering of. Well, Okay, I am going to adjust the centering of it. I think it's worth worth it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So my cart is twelve. So I'm going to make a new sprite that's like cart target. And this is going to be twelve, and sixteen is fine. And on game update, we're going to set cart position. No, cart. Did I, did I make that? Oh yeah, I'm going to make this called uh, grocery cart target. And when I set grocery cart target to the rate, and I'm going to have that be the same as the contestant's rate. Oh, where's, where is it? Here. Contestant. And when I set the grocery carts targets Y to be the contestants Y. And then instead of having it follow the contestant, I wanted to follow the grocery cart target. And that's fine, I know. <laughs> nice. 
think, Shannon, I think you're getting beyond the bounds of what can be found in your average grocery store. <laughs> I, wanted a, I wanted something on the other end. <laughs> um, okay, so one thing else I want to do is update the player's speed. So, is that here? Or no, I'm why in the controller, I think. Contestant with buttons. I'm going to update the speed. So set, set. Does it make sense to keep on changing it, like the speed with the moving with buttons, or should I just manually do? I think no. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Yeah, you have to do it with the the move with buttons. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, speed to be. I'm going to get the current value of speed. I'm going to. This is unprecedented math before. I feel like I need people to know. We have never tried to emit, do like a grocery simulator. So we might have to do some finagling with speed mm -hmm. and how heavy things are. So we're going to have the grocery and we're going to use the Sprite data. So we stored lots of good stuff. Um, but now we got to, we got to, we got to use that stuff. So now we're going to get the data as number. Um, Let's go shoot. And what did I call it? Wait, wait. We're just gonna subtract that from our speed right now. I might divide it a bit later, but let's see. It's long been the crown jewel of mathematics. <laughs> the perfect grocery store simulation. Okay, this is pretty good for now. Also, yeah, I think you're gonna get a Fields Medal. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I want it. Okay, and. I think I'm going to just have a running total of how much we have right now. Um, what's it called when you check out and that's how much it's called total? I'm just going to call it total cost. I don't know. Subtotal. I'm a, sub, that's a better word. OK. Um, subtotal. OK, oh, wow. I'm going to set subtotal to 0 first. And then when we add a new grocery to it, I'm going to change it by the value of that grocery. So I'm going to get that as data as number, grocery, cost. And then maybe I'll have a place to display the cost. OK, that's fine. I'll do that. Um, should I do that with sprites say, or should I do that with the text sprite? I'll do that with text sprites. Okay, Darzu arcade does text maybe. Oh my goodness, yeah. you got it right. Okay, nice. so this is another <laughs> extension. It's not my favorite, but you know I'm using it more, so maybe it could get up there. It is Darzu slash arcade dot dash text. This is it's okay. I don't think Daryl can hear us right now. Uh, should I should I not talk about with Daryl not here? Right. No, 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 just that okay, he cool. can't hear you dissing his. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Just because one is my favorite doesn't mean other ones are bad. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Text. I'm going I'm to write it as text, so I forget. Text, right, cost. I don't know. I'm going to come up with a different different thing later. And it's, and it's going to be a text spread that says zero first. I'm going to say, oh, I know what it's going to say. It's going to say dollar sign zero. Oh, I'm going to just, I'm going to have a function that's that's going to be like update subtotal display. Oh, I want to make it look like, oh no, I want to make it look like the checkout thing. That's okay. I'll do it. I'll, that's, that's nice to have. And I'm going to Okay, I'm going to set the text to be, oh yeah, I want to give it edit function, edit function. I want to give it a input that's the number and it's going to be subtotal. And then I'm going to have the text sprite cost text say text, not erase, join, and it's going to be dollar sign, and it's going to be sub, maybe let me do that. Well, let me do that. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool, cool. And then I'm going to place the text, right? 
Uh, I also want to make this smaller. Max font height to be eight. And then I'm going to place the sprite at the top left. So X is going to be zero. And then I'm going to, I need to change it. I know, I know, don't be mad. <laughs> sprite cost, text sprite cost, X, Y, Y. Top left is the easiest place. That's, oh, that doesn't look good. You could use the left. Oh, right, because it needs to update, right? Yeah, as you change the. I'm going to update. I'm going to put. Oh, you can do this when you um. Or oh, what, what do you mean? Oh, you want it to like stick to the screen? Yeah. So you could do um the you could set the flag. There's relative Ooh. to camera. Okay. So I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I'm learning left? today, guys? What? All things you buy in a grocery store are basically just rectangles. <laughs> what about my small watermelon? <gasps> yeah, Richard making watermelon. <laughs> All right, Nobody that's what I'll do next. Okay, cool. Wow, that looks oh. Um, oh no, sorry, you want a uh, relative to camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relative and to then camera. On, right, yeah. Okay, yay, cool. And then every time we oh we add something to our grocery cart, we want to update the subtotal. So change to a subtotal by grocery data cost as number, and then we want a color function to be update set total display with the subtotal. So I'm making that. So, so how much milk is how much is milk? Two dollars, I think we ended up. Two dollars. Okay, so gonna get it. Two dollars. Two nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we still move pretty quickly. What? What? Oh, I know. Wait, I, I think I need to subtract. What are you trying? To oh, I feel like I'm not getting any slower. Oh, because I didn't, I didn't set it. <laughs> okay, now I should be getting slower with all the milk that I'm buying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'm going. I also own. I feel like this is slowing us down. No, no, this, one. this one's slowing us down too much now. So I'm going to say let's divide that by two. OK, that's pretty good. And then now let's add the game over logic. Or, okay, cool. So I'm going to set, is there a timer? Timer. Uh, countdown, start countdown. Oh, yes. Countdown. Start countdown. And typically in shopping, supermarket sweep, you get a minute and 30 seconds base, but I think that's a bit long. So I'm going to give you 40 seconds. I think 40 seconds is also going to feel like a lot, but we can. Um, I feel like we're going to have a lot of stuff in our supermarket, though, right? That's true. So yeah. yeah. I, I'm like, I want to make it short, but I also want the player to appreciate all the stuff that they <laughs> could buy, which is one of the highlights of supermarket. So, OK, so if on um, so we need we need two things on countdown and if the player has not reached the finish line, then 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 they've just lost the point of the game. <laughs> so if how do I see if uh, I'm going to get the position of uh, so, check out um, by default on countdown end um, is game over. Um, oh, really? So you could do it the other way. You could do just game over win when they overlap the check. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I want two ways. If they get to the checkout, then I'll also run the like game over win. But if they're not, I also want them to lose. Yeah. So by okay. 
or so if you set the countdown to like a very short amount and just let it run, I think you'll see the behavior and I think it should be just a game over. Mm -hmm. But do we want to also like display the, oh, okay. So on countdown end, then we're just gonna, ah, I see what you're saying. Okay, cool. And so um, I'm going to, I'm going to edit my tile map. So this is a bit easier, set tile map. And then what should I do at the checkout? Maybe I'll make some mats for you to stand on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you're checking out, you, you can have this mat. Maybe it should be tan. Mm. And we're gonna make all the registers walls because you you can't walk on registers. <laughs> That's okay. Oh no, you can hear it. Game over. I'm gonna stop you. Oh, stop. Okay, and then we're gonna do on overlaps of kind tile map or tot. What is it called? Tile mat. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show the end stuff. So um, maybe I'll make a new screen. How do I want to do this? Hmm. Subtotal. I'll make it. Do you just want to? Oh, sorry. sorry. Go for it. I was just saying, I've never made like an ending screen, ending screen before, so I don't know what it should, it should If be. you just set the score to be that number, it'll show up. Um, I don't know if that's exactly how you want it to look, though. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it could be like, congratulations, your cart's total was, and then says it. Mm -hmm. um, you could do it in a dialogue, maybe? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dialogue. Set dialogue frame. Uh, I'll deal with that later. And then <laughs> I think it should look great. Dialogue. Uh, it's shy. It's show long text or long text. Okay. Center and wait and join. Join. Congratulations. Your cart's total was. We have it a dollar sign. I'm going to have it say. Or a subtotal and subtotal can have sense in it too I think I think that mm -hmm. that's not an issue okay congratulations your cart total was this and is do we have like a concept of like if you keep on playing it new high score because I think I've seen that but I've never tried it out uh yes but I think you do have to use the score for that okay um hmm. happening okay I'm gonna get rid of the say stuff I, I know we're hitting it. <laughs> um, congratulations. The average watermelon is 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that why it's so expensive when I buy watermelon? I always thought it was like four pounds. It's like $3 per pound. I can see those big ones being 20 pounds, though. Mm. Is it because it's not wrapping around correctly? No, that should be fine. Congratulations. Hmm. Let me just <laughs> see what's what's going on. Okay, try just... removing that dialogue frame block. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I don't think it should be affecting this. This might be a bug in the word wrapping. Um, can I use storytelling? Would that be better? Mm. I'll, no, maybe I'll just say it. Sorry? Oh, if you change it to like congrats, your total was, it might work. <laughs> um, yeah, you could do congrats and also you can do um, an escaped new line and that will Ooh. work. Oh, yeah. How do I, do I just knit it? Yep. No, no, you, you just need to do one slash. Okay. Congrats, subtotal. I'll put the dollar sign here. Okay, let's see. Congrats, subtotal nice. $2. And then 
game over. Game over when? And then should I set the score to that? Score. Set score to be subtotal. And then maybe next time it'll know how much. Mm -hmm. So let's buy one milk like fools. Congrats, subtotal. <laughs> Two dollars. Score two. Yeah, I think you should point out all the products you got, but Ooh, maybe we should do that cool. after we put the products into the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten dollars. Cool, cool. I like that. So that's that's easy to add. Um, okay, cool. cool. Uh, set list to new variable cart items. Oh, you could just grab all items of kind. Cart oh, items. cool. Okay, <laughs> kind. Uh, okay. Cart. 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 Contents. <laughs> Cart contents <laughs> to be of kind. Cart items, and then how should we print it? Do you have thoughts? So if you just add the name and then add a slash in to a string, then you can just do the show long text and each one will get its own line. Oh. So you, you make one big string and mm -hmm. you, um, for each value of the cart item, you set it equal to the last bit of the string combined with new line combined with um, the yeah. name. So I'm gonna have to be join get receipt, new line, oh, no. and then I win iterate, um, loops, <laughs> and then get correct contents, <laughs> win set receipt also, duplicate receipt to be Congratulations. And then show long text. No, just give me one. Give me this one. Yes. And then it's going to show get receipt. And then wait. Yeah, you, good. I don't, I don't know where the Yeah. Right. It's a string. And then value. Uh, and then it was called name. Oh, and then also first. the price. Also the price. Price. Oh, price. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Mm. Mm. And then oh oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> get it as a number. And it's called cost. And you need to change it from you... item to value. Oh, thank you. And then here I'm going to add another one, add a function, add another one, name. I think it called the name. And then set the strings. Data. Uh, just no. Name. Product. 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 Okay. And then milk. Okay, let's see me buy some milk. Should I say it's 2% milk? No. <laughs> That's more. Subtotal. Oh no, I'm going to get rid of that screen. So I want to read this. Okay, good. And then is there like a after waiting for input? Like waiting for um, A? So show long text will not return until um, you press A and then it'll go away. So, mm, so maybe just, I'll set let's, up let's just leave the, the game over out for now. And I think we should enter the other products because we're running okay, out of yeah, time. Yeah. Oh, OK, sure. OK, I'll add, oh wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so much stuff. Great, OK, milk, we have. Wait, I want to add the things, and you guys should introduce them. I'm just going to input <laughs> as quickly as I can. Go up here. 
from here. Okay, I think the first one after milk is... Nice. Let's see. Grape soda. <laughs> Grape soda, I'll read you the numbers. Thank you, that's great. Um, weighs two pounds, costs $3. Three dollars and then two pounds. Nice. Look at this create product. Who is up next? It's oatmeal, our old pal. Not Richard's favorite, even though you might think it is. Oh, this is great. Who, who's on um, the logo? Oatmeal weighs one pound <laughs> and um, just some, you know, spokesperson yeah. um, and cost $4. <laughs> $4. You must really love oatmeal. <laughs> All right, you're up next, Shannon. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What happened? Why are you full screen? Okay. Oh yes, turkey. <laughs> this looks so good. Turkey weighs 12 pounds, costs $20. I feel like I'm really in the shopping with supermarket sweep. People always go after the meat. What is next? Let's see. <laughs> um, so Richard correctly pointed out that maybe grocery stores don't sell this. Um, so it could be uh, like a rhinestone or something and maybe just like $10. <laughs> um Right. Shannon wrote fancy glass, so I I'm pretty like, sure that's what it is. <laughs> fancy glass. Okay, how much is it? Ten dollars. Ten dollars <laughs> weighs half a pound. Mm. I feel like some people do go for the method of like getting the material stuff, like baking sheets. But I don't know how effective that is. Where did you go? Okay. Here. All right, next one is chicken soup. Wait, I need a coffee. Okay, cool. Oh, cute. Chicken soup. Okay, half a pound oh, costs so $2. <laughs> $2. Okay. You guys were so productive. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, next up is Shannon, you drew Sardines. This. Sorry, I'm unmuting. <laughs> um, wait, half a pound costs one dollar. Yes. Okay, that's next. Flour. Oh, nice. Flour weighs five pounds, costs five dollars. Okay. And then <laughs> there's only one left. Um, it didn't turn out very well, but Vivian one. told me to draw it. <laughs> yes, I love this one. <laughs> it's a small watermelon. <laughs> small watermelon. It's 10 pounds, cost $3. 10 pounds, three, $3. Okay, hopefully we will see our shelves populated. And we're going to shop some. So oh, I need to place my character on random. Okay, that's a diamond. Some flowers. Some cans of soup. Am I getting slower? What is that? Watermelon. Diamonds. <laughs> I want to see my character get really slow. Oh no. Am I going to make it? <laughs> oh, <no>. Go, go. <laughs> Gotta pick up some things. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that was super great. Oh, no. Stop laughing. Okay. Go, Vivian. Go. Three I seconds. Can't, go. I can't. No, you might need to do like a, a minimum. <laughs> okay, cool. I need to change one thing and then that's set my character on top of random. Random starting block. Place. Contestant. I like how if you overcommit, you just have to watch as the time. <laughs> <sits down. laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think we need to uh -oh. test the end logic. Uh -oh. so you, should go, you should go to the end. It's negative way in there. Oh! Whoa, what happened? Oh, no. 
Sam. <laughs> Let's see. Four hundred dollars. Undefined. 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 Interesting. <laughs> I don't remember drawing undefined. <laughs> um. Oh, this value name. So we're getting array of sprites. Of, oh, I'm not copying this stuff over. I got to copy it. Oh, yeah. Um, Going to get a string, grocery and cart, grocery and cart, data name to string, gro grocery name. I'm going to yeah, do this. And also the, the cost okay. and the weight. I, oh, I just need the cost actually. Go stream cart. Number. Cost. But it does not. Go stream. Cost. Okay. That should be fine. And also, I need to change the speed. So, th is there a minimum? Yes. Um, okay, so my issue before was I was going negative. I, I and think I, you want max. But I think that should, does the drop down not? Yeah. There you go. Cool. Uh, yeah, before I was going super negative and then I can go fast again, which is bad. Wait, you're doing the max of that in zero? Yeah, you, you set the max as zero, so you should, you should set it to be like 10. Oh, wait, finish first. Yeah, fancy glass. Nice sardines, one fancy glass. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, and yeah, I'll make it 10, but I do like the fact that if you're too greedy, <laughs> I'll make you no, just- make it something. make it something really low, but like not zero. So like, I don't know, it could be like five. That's being awfully generous to the people, <laughs> but that's fine. All right, pick up everything you can, and then we will see if it's- um... Just a bunch of watermelons. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I want something else. <laughs> we get more watermelon. Is it just another watermelon? I don't know. I gotta go. I'm gonna make it. I'm totally gonna make it. What's this doing here? <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> uh, 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 go, go. Oh, you did it! <laughs> it doesn't. The one issue is it doesn't scroll, but I feel like adding total. If you, a, you, if you it, press A, it'll keep oh. going. Oh, yeah. I like. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> oh no! And then I'll set game over when, right? Can I do that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect timing. Oh. Yay. And also, really good game. I think this is definitely one of the most entertaining games we've made. <laughs> it's because it was inspired by the greatest game show ever. I don't remember what's game. I'll add it afterwards. But it's going to be called Supermarket Suite. So right, thanks, everybody. Uh, okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I hope you learn more about your local grocery store and the best strategy for shopping. It's very applicable to real life. Um, I'm Vivian. I'm at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. Um, I'm Richard. I'm at Richard on the Make Code Forums. I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the Make Code Forums. And I don't 